Welcome to the Allen Institute for Brain Science technical tour. This video demonstrates the navigation and data mining features of our newest data set. The Allen Mouse Brain Connectivity Atlas is a high resolution map of neuronal connections in the mouse brain. Stereotaxic injections of recombinant adeno associated virus induce expression of green fluorescent protein in infected cells. The microscope used in this project, the tissue site imaging system created by Tissue Vision, uses two photon excitation to image the fluorescence signal. A unique feature of this machine allows the fluorescence to be imaged prior to the brain being sectioned, resulting in perfect signal registration in the z-plane. Our informatics team has created modules to process this data. For example, normalization of the tiling artifacts, a segmentation module to isolate signal from background, and the creation of a reference space using an average of background fluorescence from hundreds of experiments. These informatics modules have been used to create an informatics data processing pipeline to allow you to explore individual experiments as well as use the entire data set to discover fundamental properties of the brain. To explore this data set, we'll look at a classic connectivity diagram illustrating the connection in the basal ganglia, including the connections between the cortex and subcortical structures like the striatum, the thalamus, substantia nigra, globus pallidus, and the subthalamic nuclei. We'll come back to this diagram as we explore this resource. From our portal page at www.brain-map.org, you can reach the connectivity atlas from the mouse connectivity button. From this landing page, you have access to browse the experiments. By the June 2013 release, there were over 1,000 experiments online. Each experiment is represented by a sphere with the size of the sphere corresponding to the size of the injection site and colored according to the structure in the reference atlas. Let's start by looking for experiments with injections in the subthalamic nucleus by typing STN in the filter source structures text box. You'll notice that there are now only two experiments displayed, both as dots on the visualization and listed under the image. Clicking on one of the experiments will bring up that experiment in the right-hand panel and allow you to look in more detail. Of these two experiments, you'll notice one has several secondary injection sites, some of which are not part of the system we're looking at, and you can also see extensive signal throughout the brain. The second experiment lists only the subthalamic nucleus and globus pallidus as injection sites and shows signal in restricted areas of the brain. Let's take a closer look at this experiment. By clicking on this icon, you will load this experiment into a high-resolution image viewer, one of the best ways to inspect this data set. You can adjust the dynamic range of the signal from this icon, which will allow you to see signal which is often oversaturated at the injection sites. You can use the on-screen navigation tools or the shortcut keys to move back and forth through the series of images and to zoom and pan. The high resolution image viewer is the best way to look at the experiment in the highest detail to inspect where the signal starts and where it ends. As well as viewing the two dimensional images of each experiment, you can view a representation of this experiment in three dimensions. Click on the 3D icon above the rotating thumbnail view to launch the Brain Explorer software. The fluorescent signal starting at the injection site, indicated by the spheres, was traced using a fast marching algorithm until the signal was no longer detected, indicated by the cubes. The resultant streamlines show the shortest path from the injection site to where the signal ends. You can see projections from one structure to another and you can add the reference atlas structure by clicking Control e when you've selected a region, indicated by the structure ontology box at the top left. From this single experiment, we can see several of the structures from our original diagram, the subthalamic nucleus projecting to both the substantia nigra reticular and compacta parts. We also see projections to the internal segment of the globus pallidus and to the thalamus. You may also find projections that provoke questions, such as this one to the striatum. It turns out this is a retrogradely infected cell from the striatum. 
Once you have found an experiment of interest, you can also see a quantitative analysis of the signal by clicking the eye icon. The experimental detail page that opens includes a manual injection summary, a quantified injection summary, two and three-dimensional views of the experiment, and a histogram that shows the amount of signal in each structure by either projection volume in millimeters cubed or by projection density. Mousing over the structure in the histogram will take you to that location in the image viewers. You can add several experiments to the Brain Explorer by searching for relevant experiments and again clicking on the 3D icon. I've added an experiment with an injection in the globus pallidus here. If we go back to our connectivity model, we see that the striatum is predicted to project to several structures. When we enter the striatum as the source structure, you'll notice there are over 70 experiments to browse through. To further filter the number of experiments, you can perform a target search and limit the experiments to those that project to specific structures. We will now pull several experiments into the Brain Explorer. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I will choose experiments with the Kadoputamen as the sole injection site. You can see from the streamlines in the Brain Explorer that projections to the basal ganglia are the sole connections from the striatum. One way to view the connections from the cortex to the striatum, or the connections from the thalamus to the cortex, is to use the spatial search feature. The spatial search feature is a virtual retrograde search at the voxel level. If we select all injections in the cortex, we can see which regions project to the striatum by selecting a voxel in the striatum. This particular view allows you to see the topography of the corticostriatal projections or the thalamocortical projections. Thank you for taking this tour. For more information or to access the applications, please go to www.brain-map.org.